and welcome back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek. Joining me as always is Mikey the Freak. Bob. And Bebo. Bebo. Today we are going to be discussing the Disney movie Aladdin. Um, This was my choice. This movie comes up for me around this time every year because back in high school I was in band and we played Aladdin. And we actually went to New York and led the Macy's Day Parade uh, to the song Friend Like Me from Aladdin. So this this is why I picked this movie. It kind of holds a special place for me, personally. Um, this movie is surrounded by a street rat, basically. Um, a, a poor boy who... I'm poor, apparently. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> They're hanging his lights from his mom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> who, um, who, who gets involved with somebody too, and he gets a magic lamp. He gets tricked into getting a magic lamp. Uh, the genie. And he gets three wishes. He becomes a prince, falls in love, blah, blah, blah. Y'all know the story of Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't fall in love. This movie, uh, I mean, it's Aladdin. It's a Disney classic. They just made recently a live action Disney with Will Smith and all. We're not going to review that movie because it don't fit our parameters, but mm -hmm. it's 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 a fun movie. It has, you know, uh, some. It, I don't like the way Disney does things now when it says it it depicts, you know, stereotypes and stuff like that, and they put that at the very beginning of the movie, to where uh, it says we didn't edit this movie. Because of bubble, I mean, you don't even need to mention get, it. Yeah, yeah, get your finger out your ass and deal with it. It's a fucking cartoon. Exactly. Um, it's it. First of all, Jasmine was probably my very first, you know, like uh, a cartoon, cartoon crush. crush. Cartoon crush. I still love me some Jasmine. I'm not even gonna lie. I love Jasmine. Uh, if any, if any cosplayer <laughs> dresses up as Jasmine, it's a go time. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm not saying, well, but I'm like saying. I like the older women. Mine's more as a, uh, a Wilma. Wilma? Whoa. I like the older ladies. <laughs> <laughs> the redhead. Mike's more of a Jessica Rabbit type of person. <laughs> no, too fake for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you like Wilma, you know, just charge it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, uh, Latin, you know. It had great songs. It's, it star it has Robin Williams in it as the genie. Uh, it, great songs. Friend like me, a whole new world. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Even when they do a whole new world, I still kind of tear up a little bit. It, it. I'm invested into this movie. It's my favorite Disney movie. Um, favorite Disney cartoon. Jesus, say. Mikey, and I thought you liked musicals. I do like music. I do like a good musical. And like I said, this one holds a special place in my heart because of band. We had a freaking 300 piece band uh, that would march on fields and stuff. And it was just amazing. Uh, so and what did you play in band? I played the bone, baby. I played the big old trombone. Uh, I <laughs> thought it was the flute. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. No, no I mean, you could tell he wants something, yeah. you know, like a bone, some hard, long, right in his face. No, I, I worked, I worked that big old sliding bone, baby. Yeah, <laughs> he always had to, he had to lube that bitch up every time too. I did. <laughs> what you do? <laughs> but anyways, uh, this movie brought brings back a bunch of memories for me. It it puts me in a good mood. The songs, the story itself. Uh, it has magic. It has, um, you know, adventure. It's it can't really get in too much about the acting because it is a Disney cartoon. Uh, the voice acting on it's really good, I believe. I mean, Robin Williams, amazing. Uh, but that's my initial feelings on this movie. Uh, Mikey the Freak, how about you? What do you think about the movie? Yeah, so I mean, with Aladdin, I was always fond of uh, the older. Disney animation, uh, the new Disney animation, not so much, but <clears throat> I think just because it was our childhood, the, the songs were very catchy. Um, you know, me and my wife are sitting on the, uh, on the couch watching it and we're going back and forth with a whole new world. 
She's singing the she's singing the female parts. I'm singing the guy Aww. parts. You know, right? So yeah, it, it, <laughs> it and I think you catch you catch yourself, and that's what's funny about this movie. And and uh, like I said, a lot of the old movies, you you catch yourself singing along, or you already know all the words anyway, and, and you're just don't you're, you dare you're close your it. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your breath; it gets better. <laughs> oh Jesus! So many sexual innuendos for uh for old movie old disney movies as well <laughs> as well is pretty bad <laughs> um yeah yeah there were uh an disney animators were a bunch of pervs yeah uh there's a whole history of uh perverted disney animation so y'all can look that one up yeah that one's fun to look up Do your own research um, on that one everybody <laughs> yes yeah, you'll you'll be there a while um and, and in this movie there's one too we'll let you find that one as well so um it just has to do with teenagers we'll leave it there the um the, the movie has always been fun. It's catchy tunes, um, sing along songs. Um, the uh, the fun part about this is is you kind of show the deeper meaning of Aladdin, where you know they it's don't judge a book by its cover. You know they they you always want to be something else more, but you really just have to be yourself. Yep. And I think that's that's the whole story behind it, especially with Aladdin's part is just. Just be yourself. You don't have to become a millionaire for people to like you or fall in love. Um, they'll love you for who you are. And I, I, I think that's the big meaning of Aladdin. But um, Robin Williams is a spectacular part with uh, the comedic performance. Um, you're constantly laughing. Um, and, and you can't compare it to the new one. So yeah. so if you watch the new one, don't even think about the this one. But hands down, I'll do a quick uh, comparison. This movie is ten times better than the live action version. Yeah, that that's in that's in mind. My but, favorite part of this so far is you can't compare them. But I'm, I'm doing, doing a brief anyway. comparison. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing it anyway. So don't compare the acting abilities. Just right. compare compare uh, better or worse, but your favorite. So. Um, yeah, this one's always been one of those to where it's fun, exciting. Um, the storyline is all is good. Uh, you know, from a street rat up to you know trying to become a prince, uh, trying to go above and beyond to impress the woman you love to make her love you, and um, it, you know, and she basically loves you for who you are the first time she met you. Um, so, so like I said, be yourself that's that's the biggest pull through from it um bebo what about yourself um and, you know it's a classic movie from our childhood i've always loved aladdin um i i mean to me robin williams made the movie for me um yeah i love rob i love robin williams uh in this and everything else he's pretty much done um I even like, you know, kind of the smaller characters in it, like Abu, Carpet, um, you know. <laughs> yeah. Jafar was the creepy old uncle you never wanted around any, anyone. Um, you know, the Sultan, was, yeah, the, the Sultan was just, you know, he's characterized as like a dim-witted person, yet he reigns over everything. So, but I mean, the like you guys said, the songs in there are extremely catchy. Um I love uh, You've Never Had a Friend Like Me, um, mm -hmm. you know, that part there. Um, I kind of like um, the relationship between Aladdin and Genie. Um, you know, it starts off with him, you know, saying, you know, wait, I'm your master? Yeah, I got to grant you three wishes. And at the end, they're friends. He mm -hmm. sets them free and stuff. You know, it's a really good movie. Um, Spoilers. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't watched if you haven't watched it yet, real sad. Um but uh Damn it, Brian. Aladdin oh. dies, uh Jafar takes over. Um what? Oh. <laughs> he spoiled oh, the whole I'm, movie. Oh, I'm um, over this. Oh no, wait, that was the other movie. Okay. The other um, Aladdin. Yeah, no, the other Aladdin I I can't even believe y'all brought up because I it yeah. I watched it, but it took me a lot to watch it because I was like I don't know if I can watch it because of the fact that Robin Williams wasn't in it. Yeah, because you're always yeah. thinking about this about, movie. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's Anytime like, somebody like, brings up Aladdin, yeah, this yeah. is the, you know, movie you think of. And, you know, it did have sequels um, and quite a few and a Disney TV show, uh, you know, mm -hmm. spinoff from it. Um, and a video game. 
Yeah, and, and the video game. Wow, I forgot about that. I played that game um, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it, you know, it's just a, it, it's a really good, heartfelt movie. Um, I watched it when I was younger, and actually my first job out of high school, my first, like, part-time job after high school, um, I worked at a daycare as an after-school, uh, like, children's supervisor, and my mom had all the Disney VHS tapes, so that was one that we usually brought in to, uh, for the kids to, you know, basically watch. And they loved it. It's the only time you get those kids to shut the hell up. Um, <laughs> God, these kids but, are driving uh, me crazy. Yeah. Let's put in a lot of them. Dude, dude, it was literally like if they were just too energetic, I'd be like, all right, fuck this. Let's go inside. Movie time. <laughs> Brian, movie time is not supposed to be till later. I want them to shut the hell up. We're going to watch a movie. It's movie time now. It, yeah, because their favorite movies were always Disney movies. It was either be like Aladdin or a goofy movie, things like that. So I got you. But uh, you know, for me, it always hold a special place in my heart just because you know it is what it is. It was a classic movie from our childhood. Uh, I do have a few trivia things I can uh, give to you guys on this. Well, before you get to trivia, let's go ahead and just give our actual scores on the movie. Uh, one point two. One point two. I'll go. I'll start it off. <laughs> I'll start it off since this was my movie. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a nine. It's one of those movies that it's hard to really find too many flaws in. Um, it's it's Disney. It's it's Robin Williams. It's great musical. I'm going to give it a nine straight up. Mikey the Freak, how about you? Yeah, I'm on the same page. Um, I'm a solid nine. Um, yeah. This movie is one that it, it, it's good for, it's fun for all ages. You can recommend it to, um, you know, a newborn. Yeah. And I think they would, they would hear the music and be like, oh, oh just like that. Uh, <laughs> hi. hi. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it, it's uh yeah i mean it, it's it's great for all ages um the, the the biggest fun part is that um you know no matter who, who you are so think about um you know 90 year old 100 year old mm -hmm. uh one year old it, it's just all around just fun I'll, I'll just put it that way it wasn't a very good uh, terminology but uh a nine is solid uh catchy fun for all ages perfect perfect Bebo, go ahead I'm right there with you guys. I'm on a solid nine on this. It was a great movie. It, it really is good for all ages. Um, you know, especially if it's your first time seeing it, um, you know, for like the older generation or for the younger generation we have now, um, you know, it's something everyone's going to like or should like. If not, they need to seek psychological therapy. Um, <laughs> but it was a great movie and I'm right there with you guys. I'd give it a solid nine on this one. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, now time for some movie trivia. Bebo. So a uh, few things on this one. Uh, one thing I love uh, is that Robin Williams ad-libbed, you know, so many of his lines, as he usually does. Um, but for this, that the script was actually rejected for a best adapted uh, screenplay for the Academy Award nominations. Um during the course of the recording, the voices, Robin Williams improvised so much that they had almost 16 hours of uh, material. Um, one big thing that this movie caused was a rift between Robin Williams and Disney yes. for a while. Um, basically, he wanted... Um, he, the, he did the voice of the genie at uh, what's called a union scale rate, which is like the lowest possible rate they can pay you as an actor um and on the provide on the provisos that his voice was not used for merchandising like toys and such and that the genie character not take up more than 25 percent of the space of the poster ad billboard or trailer uh when these weren't granted he withdrew his support from disney and from the film and because of that his name was not added um to the art of aladdin book and he was not available for the sequel, um, which was the return of Jafar or the Aladdin TV show. Um, Dan Castellaneta is the one who did his voice for those. Um, but after Walt Disney CEO Michael Eisner um, 
basically was fired. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, uh, Michael Eisner was the Disney CEO. He actually tried to apologize with the peace offering of an original Pablo Picasso painting. Oh, wow. And Williams Jesus flat out. Christ. Yeah, and, pa- and right, Williams flat out said no. He was still upset. Um, the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the ch- Disney chairman, Jeffrey uh, Katzenberg, was fired and replaced by Joe Roth. And thanks to Joe Roth doing like a public apology and stuff like that, that's when Williams finally came back to Disney, kind of made his piece. And then he was in the third Disney movie, which was uh, Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Um, And the other thing I thought was kind of funny and I never really paid attention was that whenever Aladdin tells a lie in this and he's wearing, you know, as the prince and he's wearing that head, every time he tells a lie, the feather falls on that. I never know. It's, sh- it's yeah. always standing straight up <clears throat> until he tells a lie. That's when it falls down in front of his face. Like a reverse Pinocchio. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I never noticed that. Uh, and the only other thing I kind of liked, and I think I would have probably preferred, is that the voice of Jafar was originally supposed to be Patrick Stewart, but because of conflicts with Star Trek The Next Generation, he wasn't able to do it. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. It would be, it'd be super yeah. weird, though. Yeah. yeah, it would have been weird. Yeah. All of a sudden, you just hear him say, beat me up uh, in the middle <laughs> of the stand movie. Now, isn't, about... uh, wasn't Dan Castellaneta the voice of Homer, isn't he? In The Simpsons? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah I okay. believe so. Okay. I knew that name, and I, th- I thought that's where it was from. So that's kind of cool, too. Kind of weird connection. All right. Well, I got some retro movie memorabilia here. And these are kind of weird. Uh, Two of them, <laughs> you have a Disney Aladdin original cell. It's limited, rare Disney, uh, difficult to obtain for $3,051. And, and it's a cell of like Aladdin and Genie on the rug. So it's one of the originals. Carpet. Yeah, yeah, carpet. Sorry. Uh, it's Throw a of, rug, he's good. Yeah, <laughs> it's saying, you know, whatever. Don't insult him. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the original cells used in the production of the movie, which is cool. I, I enjoy stuff That's like cool. that. Yeah. Then you have a Disney uh, Aladdin Genie Rodney Dangerfield pin. It's kind of like when he uh, does the mm. Rodney Dangerfield pose. They believe him moves into a rug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a pin. Yeah. It's a Disney pin for $5,000. Jesus Christ. Disney pins. Uh, if anybody knows about Disney pins, Disney pins are like highly collectible, especially if you get too. the rare ones, such as apparently this. One. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one kind of blew my mind a little bit. This is an Aladdin 1992 VHS Black Diamond Edition, sealed for nineteen thousand dollars, a VHS tape, but it's a black diamond. All it has is a little black diamond that says Disney Classic. So I guess that's it rare i, don't I have to look that up and see it could it could have been the black diamond could be one that they just gave to like maybe cast or disney employees or something rare to obtain yeah it I, has to be i i've seen quite a few black diamond editions while looking this up uh this was actually not the not the most expensive this was actually mid, kind of in the middle uh the i've seen there's some that's like thirty thousand dollars. I'm like, I I, I don't get it, man. Crazy. Yeah, Aladdin. Yeah, I, mean, like I think it's one of the more popular because I'm looking at some of these other ones right now, like uh, the Jungle Book, Beauty and the Beast, and those you can get kind of cheap. But like Aladdin, this other one's like two thousand seven hundred and fifty for an open one. Yeah, it's crazy, crazy wow. money for VHSs, man. Uh, Mikey the Freak, do you have any uh retro? <laughs> oh man related related re- reels related reels there related go. reels related we got to reels. write that shit down it's still oh, new guys i need to post it's still a new segment something. uh we gotta have the name right uh but yeah it's a new segment so we'll get it right sooner or later <laughs> um yeah so so two characters that come in mind um scott weiniger uh that actually does the voice for aladdin um you can actually see him in uh full house uh, and Fuller House, uh, he played uh, Steve, which was uh, the boyfriend of 
Candace Cameron, I think yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah. I can't remember her name, but um, but yeah. So uh, she was he was a boyfriend of of her. Uh, we've actually seen him at several Comic Cons. Him and Linda Larkin uh, that does uh, Jasmine. Uh, very nice uh, people uh, to to meet and uh, and to see. Very uh, different than what you would expect. Yeah. Uh, because of being a voice actor, but um, but yeah, they do Comic Con. So get around. Uh, you can physically meet these people, get autographs and so forth. Great people. Um, and then uh, of course Robin Williams. Uh, the movies that I'd have for Robin Williams, there are so many to choose from because every movie that Robin Williams does, um, I, I can't say that it, it's gold, uh, <laughs> maybe silver, <laughs> bronze, <laughs> but um, two movies that I have in mind, um, both comedies, because that's really what Robin Williams is known for. You can look look at his uh, high dramas like A Good Will Hunting. But the two movies that you'd always want to watch, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire from 1993, um, great comedic <laughs> performance as a male or a female. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's just it's just funny, fall or, funny all around. Uh, and the other one that <clears throat> that people might not know is called it's from 1992 and it's Toys. Yes, I was hoping you were going to mention. I toys. love Toys. Toys is such a good movie. Uh, LL Cool J. Michael yes. Gambone uh, that plays uh, Dumbledore in the Harry Potter films. Um, uh, was it uh, Joan Cusack plays mm -hmm. his sister? Um, it, it, uh, Al Alisatia, I think the name is Alisatia. Uh -huh. um, you, if you can't stream it, buy it. It is it's something you'll watch. It's it, I love the the colors and um, the the Zevo toys. Uh, which I thought was 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 a cool play on the uh, on names, but um, yeah, the 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 way the whole place it's a huge giant toy store that they that they live in and they work in and they run like a huge warehouse mm -hmm. and there's so many different things and LL Cool J is great in this movie. He, he really he's is. The, he's the hit. He's the hidden uh, talent the in hidden this gym, movie, if you will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dresses up and and camos throughout the whole movie. <laughs> So it, I love Toys. Toys is a great movie with with um, some A list level actors. Uh, but if you get if you can't stream it, find it, rent it, buy it, whatever you got to do. But Toys is a great movie. Awesome, awesome. Well, I do believe that does it for this episode of Back to the Retro Review for Mikey the Freak and Bebo. I am the Beta Geek, saying keep it retro, everybody. See ya. See ya.